Hey guys, so if you clicked on this video, obviously you're trying to see how I did these crochet rubber band method box braids. This is the finishing look. Let me take it down for you. Alright. I've had it in for a week and it's not the type of crochet method box braids where you have to braid your hair back and then crochet it in. It's actual singles. Alright, this is the finishing look. So, let me stop talking and let's get into this video. Hey guys, so this is what I used in this video. Um, I did include the hair expression, which is extremely long. You do not have to use this specific hair, but it has to be um, straight braiding hair. My white girl brush, normal brush. This is softy. And in the video, I said I used rubber bands. It was like 100 for a dollar. It was actually 500 for 139 this is how my crochet needle looks. It's very small. They do come larger, but this is just the one I had on hand. And this is what you're going to need for this video. Hey guys, so I just washed my hair. And um, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my hair and all that good stuff. Alright guys, so I let my hair dry in this for about 5 minutes. Alright. So, I find it easier to do my hair or to moisturize or to do anything with my hair when I put it into four sections. It just feels, um, it feels a lot quicker, to be honest, and it feels like you're getting a lot more done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and with this can too. Um, natural hair moisturizing twist and lock gel. This is literally the only thing I use from Cantu. That's it. This is it. I don't use anything else because it just does not work for me. And I really don't like using Cantu because it has alcohol in it and alcohol dries up your hair. So I'm going to go do it first while it's still like kind of damp. I'm going to try to brush it out. I use a white girl brush or... I don't know what y'all say for an opaque brush. Um, Cause it kind of has the same effects as a pick. And I don't have a metal pick. And plastic picks break on me. And combs break on me. So this, this is the next best thing. And they actually work really well. And I'm going to go ahead and brush it without the moisturizer. Put the moisturizer in. And then brush it again. I'm just going to repeat the same thing with the other sections. Okay guys, so I just repeated that with my whole head. I'm going to go ahead and do most of my hair, then come back and show you. Alright guys, so let me show y'all what I'm up to. I've been taking this Softy Argan Oil Hair and Scope Conditioner. Right, and I part my hair and I've been parting it sideways. Then, when I got up to um, here, all right here, I part it sideways. After that one, by on top of my ear, I started parting it backwards. So, this one went back, and I went back on this one, and I'm going back on this one, and back on this one. And I parted down the middle because I want a middle part, and I take this um, softy. Really not that much. And I'm 
just pressing it down the sides where it is parted on. And then I'm brushing it that way. Just to kind of smooth it down. Right? Then I part my hair. I have nails, so it's fairly easy for me to part my hair without a comb. But if you don't, if you're not used to parting your hair, I suggest you just use a comb. And take these rubber bands. And I know a lot of black girls don't like to put these in their hair because um, if you try to do it the nice way to take it out, like if you try to just unwrap it to take it out, it pulls your hair out. I don't do it the nice way. I don't try to sit there and unwrap every rubber band I just put in my head. I just pop them. And honestly, sis, it saves so much time. Just stop. Stop trying to be so bougie. Alright, make sure all the other hair didn't get in it. Then I pull it to make it tight. I just keep doing that. My parts are fairly big. Kinda. It depends on what you guys say big is. Because some people be like, oh my gosh, I'm getting jumbo box braids. And your jumbo and my jumbo are totally different. coming out really nice um let me show y'all the hair I use expression um it's 1b black pinkish color which was also long also by expression it is bu in the style ultra braid And this hair is a really nice quality, really nice texture. But yeah, let me get into how I did this. Um, I had seen it on Instagram and I was like, they always make stuff look easier than it really is in these like two second tutorials. But um, I did it and it's actually turning out really well. Like it looks like it's actually on my head. Then the way I like this style is that I like that if your rubber band pops, your whole braid isn't going to fall out the way the style goes because your hair is actually braided into it so it's not dependent too much on the rubber band ignore that huge picture of myself ignore that huge picture of myself so I took the crochet needle and I took my ponytail and I put it straight through then I took the hair I wanted, which is about how much hair I took. Because the crochet needle, or at least I guess it's the size that I have here, will only take so much hair anyway. And so, let me get down so y'all can see. Here's the needle, and I slid the hair on it, like so. Slid it underneath the point and then I close this thing all right after that it might not stay close especially if you have like a lot of hair in it I pull it straight through take it off it's gonna be a loop right there you pull one part of the loop all the way through and hold the rest of the hair in place Um, I would suggest being careful on this part because if you do, like, pull it really fast, the cut burns. And I was being stupid and didn't pay attention to that. So here it is. One side, one side, and then my hair in the middle. Um, after that, I line it up. And then I pull my hair at the bottom to make it to a point. Um, some people don't like to stretch their hair at the bottom. They just like to 
Well, I don't know what you do if you don't stretch it. But I like to stretch it so I can braid it all the way down. Um, like this. I braid it all the way down. If you don't stretch it, it'll end up like this. But really, you know, it's whatever you like. Okay, so I take it. And what I learned to do with my hair is to take part of my natural hair from the beginning. Because if I don't, then it's way too clumpy. And that's, like, maybe that's not with your hair, but definitely with my hair. I gotta part it like that. You know how some people just braid with their part. Okay, um, sorry guys, I'm a little irritated because someone called me and I thought I knew who it was. But then again, I wasn't sure. And it was a FaceTime, so I was like... Someone not going to just randomly FaceTime you. You know, they just going to call you. But they FaceTime me. And I was in the middle of my video. But yeah, this is how my braids turning out. The black is just so black. Like, my hair is just so dark. But look how tight it is. Oop. Let's get all of that out of there. How tight it is. I really do like this style. Like I thought, you know, it was going to be harder or not as good as it was looking on Instagram. But it looked pretty good to me. Ooh. 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 And as y'all can see, it's really not going to be that much braids in my hair. Because I didn't part it that, um the parts too big like I made them kind of medium size in my opinion and like I was like oh what if I don't have enough hair so of the black expression I bought three bags and of this color I bought one bag and then I didn't know I was gonna be have to cut the hair in half because since this was so long I wasn't expecting to do that and so now I definitely got more than enough hair and could have made my parts smaller but that's in the past right it's okay it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the one behind it. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's grab that ponytail. It's closed. Put it through the ponytail under the rubber band, guys. The hook is open. The hair on the hook. Close it. Pull it through. Take it off. Then pull one side of the hair through. Like so. Make it even. Stretch it out. Right. Now we have two parts of the braiding hair, and the third part is my hair. So I'm going to split my natural hair into three parts. Give one to the braiding part, one to the other part, and then leave one as my natural hair. Then start braiding. Move that ponytail out of the way. Honestly guys, I really like the style. The only problem is, it's a little frustrating having to keep on moving the ponytail to make sure it doesn't get inside of the braid that you're doing. Which I feel like happens when you're braiding any type of way anyways. but. If these weren't in little ponytails, I could put the rest of my hair into a, a one big ponytail. Then it would all be out the way and I could just do this part of my hair. And I can't do that when it's in a bunch of little ponytails. Alright, 
then I'm gonna put a little rubber band at the bottom because I'm not gonna be able to dip them tonight because I'm tired. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing that and I'll get back to you guys on the last braid. Okay, I'm happy to say I'm on my last braid. Dude, I'm so tired. My feet hurt, but I don't want to sit down, but I probably should because my feet hurt. I gotta work a 10 hour shift in the morning. But on the bright side, my hair looks good. Guys, I really like this method. I feel like, especially for someone who's just beginning, or someone who really can't uh, grip that well to the scalp, like me, um, I have a hard time gripping all the way on the scalp. I just feel like this is, this is bomb. I really like this new method. Or if it's not new, uh, if you guys know if it's new or if y'all been doing it for a while, go ahead and comment that down below. But it is definitely new to me. It's just so much easier. Dude, after this, after this, I'm gonna eat some pot pie. So yeah guys, this is the finished product, and in case you haven't heard me say it already, I really like it. I like how you can see it coming right out the scalp. Like you can see it's all the way attached on there. Oh, let me try to find it with the, the colored one. It's like on there dude, it's not going nowhere. And I like how, you know when you first get your hair braided and it's like hard to, you don't really want to put it in a bun or anything because it's so tight that like that first two days or so you need it to stay down. I feel like it's tight, it's on there, but I feel like I can still put it, maybe not all the way in a bun, but I can still put in like a ponytail. It's not too tight to where I can't move it where I want it to go. But yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm gonna go eat. Bye. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them down below. Um, if you guys try this method or if you tried it before, please let me know what you like and didn't like about it. If you have any other video ideas for me to do concerning your hair or anything like that, just let me know. Leave it down below. And... That's all I have for you guys. Until next time, in the words of my dearest Christina, slay or be slayed. Bye, guys.